Coming up on Around Kern County, Animal Services is breaking down the canine respiratory illness circulating the nation. How you can help our local shelter and protect your pets. And Human Services is celebrating National Adoption Day. We're honoring our community's newest forever families when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. If you're a pet owner, you may have seen the headlines about a new respiratory illness affecting dogs known as strep zoo. And this week, Kern County Animal Services confirmed its presence here at their shelter. All dedicated medical staff and animal services staff respond to the illness by taking the proper steps to sanitize their facility and treat all shelter dogs with preventative antibiotics, Animal Services says they desperately need the community's help. They do everything you can to prevent animals from coming to us, at least during uh, this next uh, eight days or so until next Thursday. So dog beds are a really big need for us right now. We put out some pleas on social media. Uh, this particular type of dog bed that we use, they're easily disinfectable and they're raised to dog beds, get the pets up off the ground. We really need fostering adoption for these dogs because the less dogs we have in those, uh, facility, those areas of the facility that have not been disinfected, the easier it'll be for us to clear out those areas, move those animals somewhere else, disinfect, and then reopen. Our staff went through and treated everything, literally everything, with an injectable antibody so that we're, we're safe and we're confident that every animal in the facility, uh, if it gets adopted or placed in a foster home, that's going to be perfectly fun. To stay up to date with the latest information about Strep Zoo and how it's impacting Kern County, please visit our website, kerncounty.com. As the year is coming to a close, the Kern County Department of Human Services is celebrating the adoption of some very special children. Each year, DHS hosts National Adoption Day to honor the momentous occasion of families becoming one. 42 children were adopted out of foster care this year and 10 from family law. When a child leaves foster care, they no longer have to move homes or wonder what their future will be, but instead receive the love of a forever family. We want to thank all of our dedicated Kern County social workers for helping these children and families in the process, which can often take years. If you'd like to learn more about how you can get involved with our Kern County foster care system, please visit kcdhs.org. Election season is kicking off in just a few months. And if you're looking for a job where you can make a difference by directly supporting our residents through the democratic process, then this position is for you. Kern County's Elections Division is hiring for per diem elections process aides and holding an upcoming recruitment event where you can learn more about the job. Join Human Resources on Tuesday, December 5th from 3 to 7 p.m at 1115 Truxton Avenue in Bakersfield on the first floor. Minimum qualifications include being 18 years or older, registered to vote, knowledge of computer skills and customer service, and full-time availability. To learn more or to apply, please visit kerncounty.com careers. If you're hosting loved ones this season, Public Works wants to make sure residents' homes are ready for the holidays. Anna Marie Odo has more. Public Works is holding a series of household hazardous waste collection events throughout the month of December. On Friday, December 1st, you can get rid of your waste at the Tehachapi Recycling and Sanitary Landfill from 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. You can also drop off anything that could be considered dangerous if lying around your home on Saturday, December 2nd at the Tehachapi Recycling and Sanitary Landfill from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Saturday, December 9th, and Saturday, December 23rd at the Ridgecrest Special Waste Facility from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. You're encouraged to get rid of cleaning products, pesticides, and other chemicals. And as a reminder, hazardous waste can always be dropped off at Kern County's permanent special waste facilities located in Bakersfield, Mojave, and Ridgecrest. And Public Works is also partnering with Caltrans Districts 6 and 9 to help our community look its best. They're hosting three clean California tire drop-off days on Saturday, December 2nd, Saturday, December 9th, and Saturday, December 16th 
to help residents get rid of old tires free of charge at local Kern County disposal sites. Please make sure all tires have rims removed, are not oversized, and tarped to avoid litter. As a reminder, these events are for residents, not commercial waste. For specific location and time information about all of these events, please visit kernpublicworks.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you next time.